Hey guys, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Alex, this is my buddy Austin. How's it going guys? And today we have the DJI Mavic Air. Now we actually did an initial first impressions and unboxing video. If you haven't checked that out, you can go see that. But we've actually spent some time with the Mavic Air and gotten to know it a little bit and you'd be surprised on what we found out about it. Now for those of you guys who aren't familiar with us, we've been around drones since the very beginning. That was back when we were building them out of wooden dowels from the hardware store and putting individual gyros on them and stuff like that. We've gotten sent hundreds of different kinds of drones such as an early version of the Mavic Pro, but this one actually we bought with our own money. We bought when it was released. So we're always happy to tell you a flight test exactly what we think of any particular airplane or drone but this one specifically we've just used from a normal consumer's point of view and now the Mavic Air comes in at a price point of $7.99 we actually got the fly more combo which basically means it comes with stuff like extra batteries and that fly more combo is about thousand dollars and the batteries can get pretty pricey if you price them out individually but right off the bat the first thing you notice is it is tiny it's very very small I knew it was going to be small but it is super tiny that's an exciting thing is like yes. when you can pack as much tech and as much features as you can in a mm -hmm. package that's this small it's pretty exciting um, it is definitely smaller than the Mavic Pro it folds up like the Mavic Pro and there's definitely a lot of similarities there's a lot of things that are the same so comparing this thing to the DJI Spark the cool thing about this is this actually has a three axis gimbal which is similar to that of the Mavic Pro and basically what that means is you have physical motors that are stabilizing the camera on the pitch axis the roll axis and the yaw axis it gives you a rock-solid image and it's using a similar camera to the Mavic in terms of specs you can shoot at 4k at 100 megabits per second which is super high quality you can do things like 120 frame per second 1080p and then all the other various uh, video settings as well yeah I think that there's some unremarkable differences in between the cameras one of which is that the Mavic Air has infinite focus which means if you have sufficient distance everything will be in focus um, the Mavic Pro has tap to focus which means you have a little bit of focal length so you're able to focus on some things that are closer have a little depth of field in the back yeah something like that feature is going to be something that more of a pro would use which yeah. is why it's on the Mavic Pro now moving on to the other similarities is the Mavic Air has some sensing technology just like the Mavic Pro actually it has more it has sensors facing forward and backwards and down the Mavic Pro only has forward and downward the Mavic Air it actually has a autonomy mode where it will sense an object ahead and correct its course to move around yeah, you could definitely say it's, it's uh, DJI's most crash-proof drone, um, despite uh, Alex's best efforts to crash it. <laughs> yeah. um, it does have about 12 different sensors, including cameras that are all around it and everything that work together to keep you from crashing. However, we did manage to test a little bit of durability. Yes. How did that go? I crashed it into a tree, and what basically what happened was I flew a full battery, but I knew it was at 30%, so I still had a little bit of flight time left. I'm like, oh, I'll just try that sense and avoid mode or whatever and i was like trying to push it at these trees it went into return to home and just went to go home and it went up and it uh hit the tree and then smacked down on the concrete from about probably 10 or 12 feet the thing though it was untouched i don't even know how it's possible there is almost no damage there's a little nick on one of the arms right there other than that, you're not gonna get a crash that's much harder than that. But that was a real life crash. And as DJI drones have done in the past with us, we've crashed them all. <laughs> and uh, they surprisingly hold up really, really well. And that is a specific advantage to making them smaller. You have less mass, and so mm -hmm. they're less likely to break something and develop that you know energy that you need in order to break something, so. Now, one of the other things that's huge with drones, obviously, is flight time. Now, the, one of the things that the Mavic Pro has that everyone loves is an amazing flight time, real world, you're going to get many or 24 25 minutes pretty easily which when you're flying something in the air remotely 25 minutes is like an eternity it's a very very long flight time the mavic air is coming in less than that and realistically you're getting a solid 15 minute flight time which is obviously a lot shorter but one thing that i learned just from flying this is that 15 minutes is normally more than enough less than five minutes easily you can go up and get establishing shots especially if you're not making an aerial montage video if you're just using the aerial footage as like an element in a bigger production like our flight test videos so um, battery it's not as good as a pro but it is really good but just in practical terms comparatively speaking um, with the Mavic Air, you're going to get about 25% more than the Spark. 
and then you're going to get about 25% less than the Mavic Pro. Yeah. So criticism that I've heard of the Mavic Air is its stability, is that it doesn't handle wind as much as a larger platform would, which absolutely makes sense. Something that we've noticed with like the Phantom 4 Pro or the Inspire 2 is that they'll basically fly in a tornado. They're just rock solid. There's really not much you can do to make those unstable. Disclaimer, don't fly your drone in a tornado. Definitely don't do that. No. But one thing that we did notice with the Mavic Pro when we first got it is was a difference. Yeah. You're gonna have the same thing with the Mavic Air, is that it just makes sense when you have less mass to penetrate through the mm -hmm. wind, you're gonna have, you're gonna be able to fly in more ideal conditions. Um, that being said, 20 miles per hour is pretty much like the threshold for anything RC. Yeah. And the fact that DJI says that it is in fact acceptable to fly in up to 20 miles per hour winds is pretty impressive. So let's talk about range a little bit. With range, with the Spark, you're looking at about um, 1.25 miles is what they're suggesting, and that's with a Wi-Fi link. The Mavic Pro is on the top end because it has OcuSync. You're mm -hmm. looking at 4.3 miles is what they say is the max range for digital video. And the Mavic Air is right in between there. They say about two and a half miles, which is super respectable. Even for me, for somebody, I use this for work. I use it on productions almost every single day. Very rarely do I ever go farther than like a thousand feet away from myself. The Mavic Pro with the OcuSync, it's just kind of like extra security. You have a very, very strong link no matter what. Um, but what I've found with the Mavic Air is it's even that is more than enough for even my use. Uh, so when looking at the Mavic Air, you know, it's price wise, it's firmly in between the Mavic Pro and the Spark. However, feature wise, I think that we can agree that it competes pretty heavily with the Mavic Pro. It has mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff that we love about the Mavic yeah. Pro. After going out and using this thing in real world and traveling with it across the country, uh, I have to say that I'm a fan. And I would even go as far to say that if I were spending my own money, um, I would probably go for the Mavic Air over the Mavic Pro. And and the reasons why is because yes, it does not have OcuSync, but it's going to fly far enough and have good enough video reception for most of my use scenarios. All right, well, we wanna thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.